Well, just a minute ago, Volkswagen CEO Herbert Dees and Elon Musk were best buds. Well, now Dees is firing shots at Tesla. Wow. Hello, my friends, and welcome. the channel. I'm the Electric Viking, and I'm surprised to see this. Herbert Deese claims Tesla is going to be slowed down drastically by the fact it's trying to ramp up three factories at once. He said it will hurt Tesla. Frankly, I'm wondering what is his motive behind this? Is he worried he could be fired as CEO? There's been rumors in Germany, they haven't been reported in the media in the West, but they've been reported in the German media that Herbert Dies is sitting on the hot seat and could be fired. But who knows if that's actually true. So this is what Dies said. He believes that Tesla's decision to ramp up three gigafactories simultaneously will weaken them and help Volkswagen catch up in the race to dominate the EV space. Now the irony between this the irony about all of this is that Volkswagen is pretty much doing exactly the same thing as Tesla. You just don't know about it, right? They're doing the same thing in China. In fact, they've got multiple factories there trying to ramp up in China. Then, of course, they've got multiple factories they're trying to ramp up in Germany. If anything, Volkswagen is actually trying to ramp more factories than Tesla is. Not at the same scale, but still, it's a very similar situation for both companies. I think, it's a, I think to be honest, Volkswagen is in a much harder situation than Tesla. Tesla just has to make two products, the Tesla Model Y and the Model 3. That's pretty much all they do. That's incredibly simple. Imagine you for Volkswagen, you want to make 70 EVs by 2026, 70 different models in factories that, well, half of them are already currently producing internal combustion engine vehicles. You've got to change to electric vehicles. That's not easy. That's way more complex than doing what Tesla is doing, in my view. I could be wrong. But I don't think I am on this. Tesla and Volkswagen are widely recognized as the leaders in electrification, according to Electric. I don't think that's true anymore. I think it's fair to say that BYD and Tesla are now widely recognized as the two leaders when it comes to electric cars. Anyway, Tesla currently is still the very clear leader with about twice the all electric sales volume of Volkswagen last year. I think based on what I'm seeing this so far this year, the sales numbers, it's likely Tesla will increase that lead. Uh, you know, the media, what, Bloomberg, Nev, or whatever they're called, Bloomberg, clowns at Bloomberg claim that te <laughs> Volkswagen's going to surpass Tesla in terms of electric vehicle sales in 2024. Now, even Herbert Dees said that wouldn't happen. So why is these clowns that don't work at Volkswagen disagree with Dees and say that they it will happen is beyond my understanding, especially seeing as the sales trajectory this year points to Tesla increasing its lead not losing its lead. So that would mean, right, that within the space of, what, less than two years, Volkswagen will magically gain back all that lead and surpass Tesla. I think that's extremely optimistic. Don't get me wrong. I want Volkswagen to make a lot of EVs. So that's really good. This kind of competition is exactly what we want. But I think it's just not necessary to mislead investors with kind of this hyperbolic kind of information. Anyhow, earlier this year, D said that Volkswagen can sell more electric cars than Tesla in 2025. Not 2024, though. And Bloomberg recently came up with a report that said that the German automaker can take the lead in 2024. Dees commented on the situation during a new works meeting this week. He said that he believes Volkswagen's profits and, sub and subsiding chip shortage is going to allow them to catch up to Tesla. This should allow the car maker to narrow the Volkswagen Tesla gap this year and meet its goal of becoming market leader by 2025 if it seizes the moment while the US electric car maker burns cash on large investments. So Dees is saying Tesla is burning through cash, which is true. Elon said the same thing, so he's not lying. But this is kind of firing shots, isn't it? To say they're burning through cash. We're going to catch up and beat them. Uh, they're taking on too much. They're biting off too much, more than they can chew. Three gigafactories is too much. CEO commented on Tesla's effort to ramp up production at the gigafactory Texas and gigafactory Berlin, as well as the expansion at gigafactory Shanghai, which by the way, will be finished by August the 7th. But... Tesla are going to build another gigafactory there, which will be apparently similar in size, which would mean Tesla would have the ability to produce potentially 2 million cars per year by the time that second factory is complete. 2 million cars per year from one location. That is what I call economies of scale. Anyway, D said this is going to take the strength out of Tesla and even Musk specifically. Elon Musk has to ramp up two highly complex factories in Austin and Gronheide at the same time, as well as expand production in Shanghai. 
that's going to take the strength out of him. Interesting. I wonder if these guys are still buddies. I mean, uh, you know, Elon doesn't really like when he gets um, criticized by others. He, you know, he, I, mean, I don't think anyone likes it, to be fair. Do you like it? If someone publicly criticized you, would you like it? Probably not. As for Volkswagen, it is itself ramping up production, EV production, at factories in Germany and China, and it's about to start Volkswagen ID4 production in the US at its Chattanooga factory. Now, personally, based on my numbers, I think by the end of 2023, Tesla's global electric vehicle production will be a run rate of around between probably 2.7 and 2.9 million. Volkswagen, based on their numbers, will be at a run rate of 1.5 million. Now, they've got a lot of work to do to get to that point. Both companies do, but both of them can achieve it. But that would still mean Tesla's delivering close to twice as many EVs at, by the end of 2023. So I don't know how they can totally reverse that trend in 2024. That seems incredibly optimistic that somehow Tesla's going to go from, say, 2.8 million, Volkswagen 1.5 million, and they're going to just shift those numbers entirely in order for this to work out, for this plan for you know the media's hopes and wishes for Volkswagen to take over Tesla's crown. That, that would be an interest, a bizarre scenario if that were, were to happen. Could it? I mean, anything's possible. Likely, extremely unlikely. Now, interestingly, Tesla is currently looking for new factories as well, but those probably wouldn't be producing any cars until maybe 2025, I'd say. However, like I said, if you look at the numbers, which I just reported on today in another video, I'll put a link in the description below to that video, Tesla is currently increasing its lead over Volkswagen. So you know what? Facts don't support this narrative. That's just the reality of the situation. Now, interesting comment here. Pascal claims that as long as Tesla is only selling what I consider as luxury cars, Volkswagen will at one point or another sell more than Tesla. And Joseph says to this comment, I really like this. Listen to this. Joseph says, sure, in 50 years, any car company could be in the lead. The future is not ours to see. But at some shorter time frames, we can make some pretty good guesses. And I think Volkswagen selling more electric vehicles than Tesla is unlikely, i.e. worse than even odds, by the end of 2025. Of course, that still means Volkswagen is probably delivering more electric vehicles than Stellantis, General Motors, and Toyota combined. I'm not sure I agree with that, but it's possible. We'll see. Personally, in my view, this is a two-horse race. Volkswagen is not one of those horses. The two horses are Tesla and BYD. Now, all these comments that I'm hearing saying Tesla only sells luxury cars, therefore they'll, they won't be able to sell 10 million EVs in 2030. But people saying this, how are those people predicting that in 2030, Tesla's only going to be selling luxury cars? Why are they predicting that? It doesn't make sense. I mean, obviously Tesla will pivot. They've pivoted numerous times. At one point, they only sold what? The Model S. Before that, what was it? A super expensive and very short-ranged electric supercar. The company has changed numerous times and it's pivoted numerous times, hasn't it? So the fact is, we know there's a Tesla Model 2 coming. We know there's a more affordable car coming. Elon Musk said it himself. That will be here well before 2030. So clearly Tesla will make more than basically the two models they make now. Of course, the Cybertruck will be extremely important to the company, but I think what's even more important is the Model 2, which I believe will come in two variants. And I've discussed those two variants in a few other videos. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about Herbert Deese making these claims. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he said this and he was really thinking um, that what he was saying was true. I really think his job could be on the hot seat. We know that a lot of his powers have been removed and gone. those powers have gone to Ralph Brandstatter, the so-called brands manager, who apparently is more like their real CEO in Europe. And... I've heard Herbert Deese has been, was banished to China for a while. So who knows what's really going on here, but some kind of weird stuff going on at Volkswagen, which means that, you know, maybe Deese and Elon aren't the same friends anymore that they used to be. Who knows? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.